What's up guys and welcome back to WBC Builds and welcome to the final wrap up video all to do with the weekly build challenge and the WBC Builds building challenge. Now I know that was very short lived, we only took on one challenge for that and I do apologise for getting your hopes up that it would be a longer series. Maybe it's not meant to be just yet, we can see about that in the future. But anyway, in today's video, I will be showcasing all of my favorite builds from the previous nine weekly build challenges, along with this final WBC builds challenge, uh, and also just explaining a bit more about why it's ending and where to look in the future for more things coming your way. So guys, the big hot topic is why is this series ending? And the, the straight answer to you is the enthusiasm has gone for it uh, from the audience, from the community, and from myself, unfortunately. Now, this was going to happen, and it's probably the reason why I did the whole challenge change from one week to two weeks and it's just scheduling i haven't got much time myself to sit down and do other little builds on the side i think a lot of people are with school and exams at the moment as well who used to do it in the discord but now haven't got the time to take it on so when i went out with this quite large challenge it was it wasn't met with the most enthusiastic response that i was expecting which i understood completely because i went yeah it's probably not the best change and it's probably killed off this series which is a shame the weekly build challenges were fun because they were fast they were happening there and then everyone knew what was going on and it was only usually a small build now i went for quite a large build people still took it on and it's great that you guys did and it's just it, it was too large i think for a lot of people but still i think i will revive this series later on in the year if not in this format maybe back in the weekly one again for a couple of months just to see how it goes but if you guys have any ideas you can come over to our discord and go to the video and channel section there and share an idea of us for a future series a future challenge or better yet you can go to our discord go to the inspiration section post an image there and say i challenge you to build this you can take my role in that and see who takes up that response and obviously when you do build it if you do go i was challenged to build this by so and so in the discord that'd be great you guys keep it running while i don't have the time to at the second so without further ado i think we should probably get into looking back at last week's one which was shocklewick park a lovely georgian massive mansion out in the middle of the sort of countryside near bath and quite a few of you took it on so we're going to go through my favorite ones here now before we jump back over and see my nine favorite from the previous weekly build challenge so first on my list here for shocklewick park was from ts productions and i've done the whole landscaping for it as well giving it a lovely country park feel to it and there's no shaders on these images so it is done in pure vanilla minecraft so you can see everything in its full glory although as we know shaders just like to sort of give it a little bit of makeup which really do help take those little touches and give it life but anyway this is a great build you've done the back you've done the front you've done the stables everything has been included in this one so guys great job on that one i think that was done by a duo so really nice little job there moving on to another one that was submitted this is by max musterman now he's only posted one image of this but it's really quite close to the original image as you can see on screen now he's gone for that sort of mix mixture between the sandstone base and the oak along with the sort of other little accents of sandstone and he's made it really into a nice little landscape here i like what you've done with the hill in front of it and even the fence you've done there as well so great stuff there that's all i can say on just having one picture so matty you are one of the serial offenders who has been in the top five and many times now so congratulations on that but again you've nailed it with this one love what you've done i believe stripped oak probably was the best way to go for the background i went for stripped birch myself and um, the moment I looked at it in the final images, I went, yeah, that's not great. I didn't think mine turned out that well, not compared to some of your guys that you've put out here. So Matty, great stuff there. Really enjoyed your build. Okay, next up we have Mr. Preston who went through and did quite an extensive build. I believe he was looking at most of the sort of inside dimensions and pictures from Google Maps, which you can do if randomly. It's a care home in real life. I'm not sure why someone's gone around and taken pictures of the inside and uploaded it onto Google Street View, but hey, that's not me. So yeah, you've done a little bit of a different interpretation of it. You've got the greenhouse out the front there and you've got lots of little stuff going on in the garden the house itself is good although i'm not sure why there's such a heavy sort of fog on it maybe it's just your shaders but never mind and then finally the best has been saved to last because sander who is actually the lord of landscapes as he's titled on our server has gone out and decided to make an entire landscape for this build and then plonk the build on it like it's nothing this is beautiful sander this is amazing i love what you do your landscapes and i think you've included so much detail in it here that the house just works as it looks like it's been set out 
in a proper landscape and yeah so guys thank you all for taking part in the first and possibly only wbc builds challenge i had great fun seeing all your builds and also having a go at it myself so speaking of all of the challenges we've gone through i think it's time now to go on over and recollect over those previous ones because there were some amazing builds throughout there now before we start what was your favorite build from those weekly ones for me i think it was the palladium bridge i really liked how i did it myself but also how it worked and how everyone took it on and did a really good job with it so anyway i think it's time to jump into those top nine and we should go see and have a little recollect on what happened over the last three months okay so if you cast your minds back to week number one which was back in early february now this was the american colonial house uh, from Mississippi and I think it looked really good as a sort of an experiment to see how this challenge video would go and I remember Corbin here doing a really great job with his one I love the way you debugged the windows to give them that window pane effect and you've also used the WBC builds extra uh, texture pack which you've gone for there as you can see with the quartz pillars so Corbin I haven't seen you around discord for a long time but I really enjoyed your builds throughout the weeks when we were doing the early challenges back then right moving on now to week number two so week number two brought us closer to the Netflix hit show Bridgerton and I challenge you guys to build the original building for what they used as their house. This is the Greenwich Park Hunter's House or Hunter's Lodge and it's a really interesting mix of early Georgian with a later Regency style with those bay windows around it. Now on screen you can see my favourite and that was MS Builds, he's a builder over on our server absolutely adores Georgian architecture and he nailed it which is great because I didn't nail mine. <laughs> I really like what you did there MS Builds I think it's a cracking job indeed. Right moving on to week number three. So week number three saw me challenge you to the, have a go at building this watercolour painting that I got from the Royal Institute of British Architects website. This is a lovely mid-Victorian gothic styled house and I thought Jake did a great impression here of it. Now it was a really hard challenge to do because all we could see was just the corner of the building and it wasn't leaving much to the imagination so you had to go around the back try and figure out what the back would look like you know see the little like, a greenhouse on the side give the front garden a little twist to it I gave my interpretation a good go but I think Jake did a really good job here so moving on to week four and in week four i challenged you guys to have a go at building a scene there was loads that came up and a lot of them looked very similar to mine so i couldn't choose them for a lot of reasons there but i thought one that stood out to me was by a guy called luke here on discord like what he did with it the skinny red building or the skinny red brick building was what popped out to me there's lots of little intricacies and details going on there so i thought that was a really nice one to include here in this final list Okay, moving on to number five. So number five is when I asked you guys to have a go at building an old London underground station. This was Blake Hall. On screen now, you're seeing the hyperbolid. He did a great job with his. I liked the little bridge that uh, sort of ran over the top there. And also the fact there was no shaders on and it still had a lot of life to it was really nice to see. I think he did a little video on his as well where he took a little walk around and showed off a bit more about what he built, which is a really nice touch. I love a bit of multimedia when it comes to these types of submissions. So week number six saw us take on an Edwardian shop. Now I would be missing a trick if I didn't mention the Lime Hits build here. Now he did scale his up by about three times to make it this gigantic building that wouldn't fit in anyone's world. But as a piece of voxel art, it looks amazing. I love how you did it and the renders really do give it some justice as well. So great stuff there, the Lime Hit. I really enjoyed seeing yours across the entirety of this series. Now moving on to week number seven and it's my favourite challenge of all, that Palladium Bridge. Now Matty, as I mentioned previously, is one of those serial offenders who kept popping up in my top fives and this was one of them. As you can see, there is a large house in the background. He didn't just build the bridge, he built the entire landscape for it and I've got to say, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Is that three wows? Probably four. Uh, but yeah, the great stuff is you did the entirety of the bridge, the weir, and the little lake underneath it as well. And those lily pads really helped set off that water. Matty, great stuff indeed. Moving on now to week eight, and this was one of the final ones that we had on. Now, I'll be missing a trick here again if I didn't show you Epic's epic rendition of the St. Louis house that was uh, built in the Second Empire as a nice little townhouse. Now, you did a great job here, and I really like what you've done with those sort of small details that we couldn't get in otherwise wise without really using the trap doors around the windows and the texture pack as well which is the WBC builds texture pack that gives those windows that nice little trim around it which really helped bring out those small details that in the game it's really really hard to achieve and moving on to that final challenge the Victorian corner pub that I challenge you
you guys to build only a couple of weeks back. So Honest, you did a great job with that one. I liked how you put the roads in and some more buildings around the whole scene. It really brought it to life and gave it that nice little impression that you've taken it straight out of London. So there we have it guys, that is my favourite nine from the last nine WBC builds weekly build challenge and also just a wrap up of the entirety of the series. And I hope you guys have enjoyed looking through these and reminiscing over the last three months because I did. I looked back and went, wow, I forgot about some of those. And I really was quite awestruck by what you guys came up with. But still, remember, you guys can challenge yourself to one of these challenge on a daily basis if you wish over in the Discord. But anyway, guys, I probably will return with this later on in the year. We'll see how schedules change and what other projects come up. Until then, get inspired, get building, and I'll see you next time.